Rightio folks, I have uh, pretty much made it through the worst of that. Um, it's all basically left, right, left, right, left, right. It's, that's all it is. Um, and uh, cars. But this is uh, coming down from Bernate, which is very close to Como. It's about 20 minute drive uh, on the, I suppose, northeast and uh, of the main city. Right, now at the Swiss border. Well, you can tell you're in Switzerland. I, uh, I just stopped off at a, um, a petrol station, not to get petrol, but just something to eat and drink. And it cost me about $18 Australian for a, um, no, it wasn't that much. It was about $11 Australian for a cup of coffee, takeaway, and one of those scrolls that, you know, the snails. Uh, anyway, I met this couple there and uh, they're moving from Italy. Uh, they're moving to uh, Switzerland, to Zurich. And they had their little kid there, he was probably about three or four. And he wanted to sit on the bike, but the father wouldn't let him because he felt that if he was... Uh, once he got on the bike, he wouldn't be able to get off. <laughs> it's just classic, anyhow. So I gave him a high five and left. Uh, this is really beautiful. Lugano is 17 kilometers away. I am uh, about an hour and 10 minutes in total away from uh, Annanut, uh, which is the beginning of the Furka Pass. It's a place called Hospitala or something. Hospitina? Anyway, I turn left there and go to the Furka Pass. I'm really not in a rush today because uh, maybe four hours I'll probably be in Zurich regardless, which for me is nothing. So, I want to get some washing done. <laughs> Normal things in Zurich. I just put the washing on, then go for a walk and look around Zurich. And that's how I'm going to do it. I'll back shortly. I just wanted to record this little bit because it's really hard to see. And I know there's a glass rail on the left. But wow. It's just so damn pretty. This is uh, Lake Lagano. Well, that's the area I'm in. I'll just bring the cover down. So it's supposed to be 100, I'm doing 90. A bit slow. But tunnels are beautiful here. Even the tunnels are beautiful. Oh my god, it's so it's ridiculously beautiful. Ah oh, well, into the tunnel abyss we go. This is uh, North Lugano. Here you are, North Lugano. Just mountainous regions. I'm about an hour away from Andamut. But I wanted to share the view. Like all these people going fast, I guess they live here. For me, it's a joy just to go slow. I'm still about 30 minutes away from uh, Andamut. But I'm just loving these views, just pure mountains everywhere. And not little mountains, they're massive. Traffic jam up ahead. 
same about the view. If you love that fresh mountain there, you're going to love this. Views are beautiful. I must be in the longest tunnel I've ever been in my entire life. It's all downhill. I've already done three or four kilometers underground and it's really hot. And there's another 10 kilometers of this to go by the looks of it. This is the longest tunnel I've ever heard of. Gosh, Shenmen. Oh my lordy lordy. Well, I'm about to uh, get into the Furka Pass. It's about five kilometers from here. I've never seen so many motorcyclists on the road as there are here. This is a, a very, very, very popular place for motorcyclists. Long and windy roads, everyone's going very slow. But the whole atmosphere is very calm. It's amazing. Furka, that's what I'm looking for. Furka and the Furka Pass. Looks like they're building a hotel here. This is just so beautiful, people. Right, I'm on the Furka Pass. And, uh, yes, this is what I've been waiting for. I've been planning the whole trip around this particular road which is why I'm glad it's actually recording <laughs> sometimes you hit the GoPro and it doesn't actually record tons and tons of motorcyclists here The plan is that the uh, the Furka Pass should, I think, takes me to the Crimsel Pass, and then I go up to Merringe and up to Lucerne from here. This is like a bit of a cut through. I just want to get a photo here. rivers on the side I wasn't expecting that just checking everything's working on my video because I'd hate not to get this otherwise I have to redo it again so the plan is uh, go up here and from here I'm gonna go to the Grimsel Pass just close my lid, sorry. From here to the Grimsel Pass, and then from Grimsel Pass to Inter Kit Inner Kitchen, uh, Meringen up to Lucerne. There's not a huge amount of snow. I didn't expect there would be any, to be honest with you. But look at this team, it's like a whole tour group. And plenty of cyclists as well. A little bit of a rail track going on on the left. I think most of the motorcyclists are actually going really fast behind me, sort of zooming up around me. And I'm happy for that. I'm in no hurry on this particular trip. I say let them do what they want to do. I'm doing like 80. So this is Rialp, Yuri. Of course, a lot of people watching this probably already done this trip along the Furka Pass. For me, it was the inspiration of actually getting on the road in Europe and, uh, and riding around. It's this particular road that literally forced me to fly to the UK, hire a bike and, uh, and travel. And uh, when I look back at the uh, videos I saw by Varen Bon Grumble some time ago, uh, when he went through here on this same road, uh, 
it's the reason I really wanted to uh, come and have a look at this for myself. I'm kind of glad there's not many cars behind me because if there was I'd probably pull over. It's been a good trip. Um, all I've got to do now really is uh, Zurich today and um, after Zurich, oh this is real, after Zurich, uh, Dijon and then Paris and then I'm back onto London to drop the bike back. Sorry about that. My screen uh My screen tends to turn off by itself after a minute, so I just need to catch up to where I'm at. I think I'm the slowest motorcyclist on this whole road. How you going, buddy? A few people behind me you can see I don't know you probably can't see on the camera but you know obviously the roads wind around I think we all knew that um, but the sheer number of motorcycles is phenomenal I kid you not it's like a rite of passage just to be able to come through here the weirdest thing is I've probably seen these exact same parts on other people's videos Oh my god, look at that. I hate right turns, I am just shocking at them. How you going? Oh man. Look at this, left, right, left, right, just like I hoped it would be. There's the cows and the bells. Hey. Seriously. Cows and bells. It's like stuff you see on TV. pretty steep I always find it harder going uphill than going downhill I kind of wish there was more snow to be honest like just here oh little baby cows Here's a place to park, let them everyone else pass me. Whoa, wrong gear. So awesome. James Bond straight, what the hell? Come on, let's check that out. Stay. Goldfinger, the dramatic car chase scene in 1964, Goldfinger included the famous scene in which the Aston Martin sheds its tyres. Right here. Just did a bit of a stop and check to make sure that my video is working because the one thing I didn't want to lose was this part of the video.
That's why I keep drawing it down and up, just to check in. Just to check in? That's terrible, like, just to check. I'll tell you what, I don't know if I'd want to be a cyclist on this road. I guess if you've got music in going on and it's probably a nice thing. Just draw it down a bit so I can close the cover. That was interesting that stop uh, being a James Bond 1964 where they filmed Goldfinger. I'd actually read about it, I, I, I literally found it by complete accident. I had no idea there was going to be a sign there, but if you're going that way, you can, uh, well, you don't need to now, you've seen it on video. Oh, yes, there's no one around. Can you see the road down there? That's how it trails. Isn't that amazing? I was talking about this road to people when uh, I um, whew, when I was back in Australia and how cool it would be to go up this particular pass. Actually, at one point I thought I'll miss the Furka Pass and, and just go straight around to Discern. Uh, through a different pass. Uh, I think it's a Stilson Pass. But I ended up uh, coming this way. I, I can't say it's cold. It's fresh. Not cold. A little bit fresh. Like, it's still summery weather, you know? Well, it is summer. Makes sense. Oh, nice corner. Hang on. This is where I stuffed up the other day. I went too slow around the corner. Damn, man. Damn, those views are ridiculous. What are they, redonkulous? Redonkulous views? Ah, oh, buses. You gotta love them. So today we're going to take you through the Farrakha Pass. Yeah. Seen a few Ferraris, a few Porsche. Haven't seen too many of the um, Lamborghinis. Here's some Porsches coming down. Plenty of amazing bikes. Everyone's filming it. Cause like summer of 17, why not do the Furka Pass? And then the Grimsel Pass. You know what's beautiful about this area, apart from the cars and the bikes, is just how quiet it is. Just check I'm still filming. Yeah. Bit of a down view for you now. I can't imagine driving that fast through here. Like I'm in no hurry. Just let them all go. Come all this way to do this road, I'm not going to run it. Of course I'll rev the motor a bit. Jeez, the road's pretty rough there. Oh, they're from Switzerland. No wonder they couldn't give a shit. <laughs> like home. Yeah, the cyclists have all got their headphones on, they're all in gear. Oh, Jesus Christ, there's more bloody uh, cyclists, but the cyclists coming up behind me. It's all uphill from here, people. All uphill, all the way to Grimsall.
Must be a pit stop. It's in a Kawasaki. I'd love to stop up here somewhere. It looks stunning. Oh, hello. Beautiful. So much fun just to hike up there. Alas, no. Right, bit of a check. Make sure that I didn't... Uh, make sure the video is working. <laughs> I know, I know, I don't want to lose the footage. Anyway, it also gave me a chance to let other cyclists and other motorbikes to go past me. This will be the slowest uh, version of the Furka Pass you've ever seen. Jesus, look. He must be 50, 60 years of age. Good on him. I to take advantage of these wide roads. They must have had some snow lately, recently, because, I mean, to have snow that far down... I get it at the top, but at the bottom... I wonder if they come out every weekend and just go for a ride along the Furka Pass. Like, you know, see, maybe they do time trials. Oh, yeah. I don't know if I'd be a pinion passenger on one of these roads. I mean, this road is pretty windy. I don't know if I'd want to be the pinion passenger, honestly. It'd be too, uh, too bloody dangerous. Close the cover of the visor. It's uh, 12 o'clock. I've probably got a few hours to go to get to Zurich at the rate that I'm going. Normally you just knock it on the head, you just go to Zurich. But not me. few bugs up here as well which is kind of surprising hit me as I'm driving so damn pretty hello it's like a golf course but not it's like a steep golf course imagine playing golf here I wonder how many people have thought oh could set up a golf course up here that'd be amazing I and mean, you've already got all the uh, little divots everywhere Sunny. It's like Disneyland. Disneyland for motorcyclists. Look how many people do entry here. Oh, they've got signs there just for the riders. Smart rider of the devil. 
in red. I guess so many riders come up this way that it uh, probably becomes quite a hazard. And a lot of them would go rather fast, I think. Oh, a few cars parked up here. Just a bit of a break. She's got some mud on him. Look at this beautiful little waterfall here. How sweet. Anyway, still doing the Furka Pass. I'd hate to make a mistake here. There's no barriers. Oh, lordy, lordy. Need to go back a bit. Hope no one's coming from behind me. Totally the wrong gear. There we go. Oh dear, oh dear. Getting this wrong. There we go. Back on track. Now I can imagine waterfalls are a pretty big attraction around here. Revving the hell out of the car, out of the bike. A few cars behind me, so I better pull over again somewhere. This looks like a good spot. There we go. Let everyone get past me. Oi, a bit of snow. Yay. Should grab some of that. Just to say I did it. <laughs> Not that I don't know what snow feels like. Someone's been walking in it. I'll tell you what, next time there's a spot to park. I'll grab some snow for you. Yeah, look at this corner. Oh, what a nightmare. What a view. Holy mackerel. I could not imagine being a cyclist. I mean, look at how hard that is. I mean, full kudos to them. Yay, here we go. That's what I was looking for. A picture with some snow. Had a bit of a play in the snow. Took some photos and uh, had a bit of a chat with some people who have just come from Chamonix in uh, France. Everyone seems to be going in a different direction. Not everyone, but a lot. Oh, look at this view. All oh, these lucky people. Yeah, this is the view they got. Nice big group of uh, cyclists here, or even a tour maybe. And you're like, oh. Bloody bug just hit me in the face. Oh. I don't know what bugs are up here, but they're, they're going for it. They're pretty fast up here. I don't, I don't know how many bugs I've killed in my way. <laughs> Little birds up here as well. This is like a real playground for motorcyclists. Look at the view in the mirror. 
check out that view. Must be beer o'clock. Everyone's up here. Alpine Granitas. Oh man, that sounds so good. Holy moly. It just keeps getting better and better. One photo after another after another. Just ridiculous photos. Don't even know if I can turn. Yeah, I've got to wait. Wow, this is the nicest spot that I've seen. Holy moly. Check out this view. Have to get a photo. Well, this is a popular spot. A lot of people... Uh, a lot of people parking, getting their photos with their lovely bikes, you know, just like me. <laughs> not that my bike's a lovely bike, it's, uh, it's a nice bike, but, you know, it's not my bike, it's a higher bike. There we go, draw it down a bit. The top of the uh, camera kits the visor. They look classic cars, I've seen this around Switzerland, a lot of people in classic cars. Yeah, every corner offers an amazing view. That's that's the weird thing about the uh, Freca Pass. Well, not weird. It's just how it is. Wonder how recently cut they cut this. Oh, the mountains in the background are just. Incredible, <laughs> amazing. It's just beautiful. You actually see a lot of motorcyclists kick their legs out. Sometimes they don't put their hands off the uh, steering wheel, off the uh, handlebar rather. Steering wheel? What the? and they'll choose to just kick out their feet. How are you going watching this people? Am I boring you? I imagine so many of you have already done this uh, route and just watching. So, I can imagine it would be a little bit boring. Well, all this mountains and snow and stuff. Who needs it, right? Where is this? Belvedere. I stayed in a hotel. Oh, nice view behind me. I stayed in a hotel called Belvedere once. Uh, not recent, not so long ago. In Vienna. The bastards charged me twice. I've got to get the money back for the second lot. Oh my god, look at this place. This is where you come for lunch by the looks of it. Bit of a break. I wonder if we'll find parking. Might be one spot just here. Hmm. I'll just park it right here. Looks good as any. I'll go in the water. There we go. Break time. 
Okay, now I'm in a place called Belvedere on the Furka Pass. Check out the view, guys. There's the road down. Yeah, waterfalls. It's got a little snack bar. And there's a shop up there selling uh, souvenirs and things. Loads of cyclists, uh, motorcyclists and cyclists. Anyway, time to move on. Oh, just a quick little break here in Belvedere. And then heading on. Let these people go past. Actually, it looks like everyone seems to stop here. Not everyone, but a lot of people stop here. It's a great spot for uh, taking videos and pictures and you know anything you haven't been able to do so far you can pretty much do here if you want to eat go for it 10 euro for a uh, basically for a frankfurter actually it's not even 10 euro it's 10 swiss it's even worse than 10 euro <laughs> Close the cover so they get too much wind. It's interesting the people, I looked at the bikes, uh, there's a lot of V Strom. <clears throat> I'll just pull over here and everyone get past me. Might as well enjoy the view while I'm here. I imagine a lot of people would tour in groups, like, you know, a group of friends, cyclists, whatever, just wanting to come out for a, uh, a nice little weekend ride. It's a Sunday here in uh, Switzerland. People sort of parking everywhere because the views are just so outstanding from every, every corner. They just don't expect it. Actually, I thought it'd be more zigzaggy. I mean, I know it's zigzaggy, but I don't know. When you're actually doing it, it doesn't seem as bad. Or when you see it on a, on a GPS, it looks like a bloody nightmare. Oh, that road down there looks stunning. <coughs> Excuse me. It's not very windy as well. It's a little bit windy, but not too bad, which sort of uh, helps out a bit. I'll be heading down there in a minute and then when I get to uh, the Grimsall that's where I need to do a turn off it's much longer than I thought it would be I thought it was like 35 minutes unless it's I'm just because I'm really slow but it seems shorter on the map in real life it seems to take forever which is fine because I've got forever to do this Especially in this weather. I've already eaten some snow today to keep me hydrated. Just looking back up. Just uh, pause the video for a bit because it was just straight roads, no new views. But looking at this view, it uh, looks like it's going back up. Going back up the, um, the mountain there in typical Furka Pass style. I'm sure I saw some of this on Gum on um, Gumtree. I'm sure I'm sure I saw some of this on uh, Top Gear, particularly this area. It just looks very familiar, or well, maybe just too much YouTube. one cyclist they got some beautiful bikes here you know we're talking some really nice BMWs I'd love to be able to afford one I don't think I could 
because it's certainly been one of the highlights of the uh, trip not only did I plan it to be a highlight but it's actually turned out to be a highlight it's just relaxing <laughs> I've probably got one of the smaller bikes doing this. I haven't got the smallest bike. I saw a um, someone on a uh, scooter earlier. I wonder what's down there. Oh, another shop. Cafe, restaurant. It's good. It's good to have these. I might even stop for a beer. But let's see what time it is. It's one o'clock already. Oh dear. I'm taking forever to get to uh, to get to <laughs> Zurich. Uh, I didn't plan on it taking this long. Uh, such is life. They're beautifully laid out, these uh, roads. It's just amazing. I was looking up at the, you probably can't see it on the camera, little house up there. I don't know if that was Belvedere, I don't think so. Look at this old, old, old house. That's an MT-07 Yamaha, I know by the colour. Oh, toilets, there we go, that's what we're looking for. Another break. Another opportunity to do nothing. Grimsel Pass. I was actually just googling where it was and it literally was where I was parked. So that was the end of the Furka Pass. Merengen, 38 kilometres away. I've been able to uh, put a GPS now for uh, Lucerne, which will obviously take me up this way. I'll tell you what, there's some beautiful bikes out here. Um, I'm actually thinking about the MT-10 and the, uh, maybe the MT-7. I've got to buy a new bike. I've got to buy a bike. I have no bike at the moment. I completely rode off my little scooter. I didn't crash it. I just didn't put oil in it. <laughs> anyway. The views continue, people. Let's check the uh, screen. Yes, the recording. Even better. Uh, B and W should sponsor this road. There we are, Grimsel. I don't need a break, I just thought I'd just piss around oop, and stall my bike, have a quick look. Just for fun, I know it's quite a scenic town. Plenty of parking. Oh wow, hang on. This is new. I wasn't expecting that. Wow, that's a photo opportunity there. Definitely a photo opportunity. <laughs> okay, stopping. 
Okay, so this is the view from Grimsall. How incredible. It's just beautiful. I mean, look at these bikes. I just uh, had a bit of a chat to some people who uh, are from Italy I think they were rather impressed they thought I was from Britain because the bike has GB on it and then when I told them Australia they're, they're just like what the <laughs> oh you can stay here there you go there's a hotel for you people highly recommend it if the place itself is crap at least the views are amazing and uh, God knows there's a lot of tourists here. I've done enough stops. Oh my lordy. Just look at that. Can you see there's a little like a dam? There's a dam. Dam. That's why they called it dam. Put the camera up a bit. Bit windy, but oh, there's lots of dams. Okay. Well, it's either hydroelectric or it's water for uh, consumption. One or the other. Or both. This has been such a pleasurable ride. No pressure. Uh, it may be the highlight of the trip. Like I'd love for my parents, my elderly parents, just to fly into Milan and just pick up a car and just take them for a drive along here. You can do it. If you haven't got a bike and you just want to ride, sorry, drive a car, no problem at all. Take it easy on the roads, come in the right season. Ferrari, God knows what, some McLarens around. It's been a wonderful experience. It's good they got these barriers. Imagine if you just missed it, like, whoo, over you go. No problem at all. Straight into the lake, if you could make it that far down. Oh, lordy, lordy. Shouldn't talk so soon. It was nice playing in the snow earlier. I should have done like a little snow angel. Wow, that's a hell of a waterfall. I think I know how they fill in the dam. Oh, look at that. That's just beautiful. That's insane. Oh, I wonder if I could just cross here. Just park. Oh, I want to get a picture. I'll just do a Yui. I hope I don't go over the bloody edge. Yeah, I did it. I want to get a photo.
Just as well I stopped because the battery on the GoPro had uh, died. I love that waterfall. Just uh, realised I've got an hour's drive yet up the Crimson Pass. And there's some beautiful dams. As I turn this corner, you should get a proper look for you. Some more dams. But I also know that I need to make some time now. Because I've stopped so many times, which is fine. But I also need to get to where I'm going, which is uh, Zurich. And I've got a few things to do when I'm there. They say 60 kilometers along here, 60 to 80. I, I think I'm doing about 60, maybe. Ah. Yeah, they have these dams everywhere in Grimsel. Everywhere the dams, and they also have the bridges, you can actually drive along the bridge. But they have the Grimsel Bridge up there. I would have done it, except uh, not as much time as I would have liked. I'm happy just to uh, see this beautiful scenery. It's just stunning. I love the colour of the water. It's just green. Must be the minerals around the area. Looking at the mountains, they're also green. Beautiful. Anyways, another hour to drive through tunnels and uh, whatnot. And I will be back to you very shortly, closer to my destination of Lucerne. Looks like we've finished uh, most of the Grimsel Pass and now we're just sort of heading through a uh, forestry area, really. I mean, it's very different from what we've seen on the Furka Pass and uh, on the Grimsel Pass. Nine kilometers. Yeah, this is uh, very different like completely changed immediately it's still very beautiful well the highlight was definitely the fur car Grimsel very nice a bit different but fur car that's the one you want to hit on tunnels I love them we got one guy following, but he's not even rushing. It sounded kind of cool. Still get beautiful roads and still get bugs hitting you on the visor. A uh, bit of a sweeping turn here. Ugh. There we go. No rush. Does he want to go past me? There we go. kick of the right leg in appreciation there you go Guttanen that's a little town I'm uh, I'm heading through at 40 kilometers an hour beautiful little thing I love how they got these little towns in the middle of nowhere beautiful style What a backdrop. I don't know if I can live here. <laughs> but, but it's a beautiful spot. It's really beautiful. It's just beautiful. Oh my lord. I had my visor open earlier and this bug just hit me in the eye. Just, just missed my eyeball. 
anyway that taught me to put my visor down because there's plenty of bugs around much greener here like I mentioned earlier much more forest and it's also much faster you can get up to about 90 up here no problem let's say 60 yeah. Inakershan, is that how you pronounce it? This is Inakershan. Saw a cop car go past, that was unusual. Oh look, they're just like on TV, they're all made of wood. Little house on the prairie up there. That's beautiful. This is how you picture Switzerland. You know all those Swiss little houses that you see on TV <laughs> and here they are Ooh -wee. in a cushion even the word sounds great proper little town yeah I've got to turn off here The lakes here are a really funny shade of blue. Might get a view coming up on the uh, left. That's the weirdest colour I've ever seen of a of water it must come down from that green that's just beautiful well there you go something new every day I am less than half an hour out of Lucerne and about another 57 kilometers to uh, Zurich and it's now three o'clock um, I'm thinking five five thirty maybe six at the top end well there in the distance is Lucerne I know because the sign tells me I could also see a great big lake and I happen to know there's a great big lake in Lucerne probably doesn't come up that well on the GoPro But the eyes tell it all. It's a stunning little city. That's Lake Lucerne just there. Almost arriving in Lucerne. I might stop off for a bite to eat. More tunnels. And, uh, and then on to Zurich. Well, as you may be able to see from this sign, I am in Zurich. Uh, I decided that uh, I went through Lucerne and um, I'm going back there tomorrow it's actually my birthday yay happy birthday <laughs> so tomorrow I'm going to spend the day in Lucerne but today I wanted to get the stuff packed into uh, the hotel here in Zurich and uh, have a look around Zurich for a bit while it's still light uh, I've also got tomorrow morning early to go walk around Zurich and um, and then drive to Lucerne tomorrow, sorry, yeah, Lucerne tomorrow and have a look. I've got Mount Pilatus, Pilatus, yeah, however they say it. Uh, grab some petrol on the way just now because I was at my point of two bars, which is my new rule. Two bars means fill up. I also checked on my air, and surprisingly, I never lost any air, not one ounce. You know what I noticed about Zurich and Switzerland in general? There are speed cameras everywhere. I just went through a uh, red light camera just there. It didn't go through it. I mean, I was on orange, so they won't give me a ticket, but it's interesting. I haven't seen that anywhere else. City center is this way. So anyway, this is Zurich. The hub of the financial arm of European communities and probably around the world.
Well, this is the Swiss railway system for you. Beautiful. So I finally uh, had a chance to get some washing done. And uh, I love trains. <laughs> and uh, have a look around. Uh, I'm just looking around Zurich now. It literally took me about an hour and a half, I suppose, to get to the washing place, get the washing done, dried and back. Anyway, uh, next on the, uh, I have to tell you, it was about $20 Australian to do one load, a small load, six less than six kilos. So if you want to get your washing done, do it somewhere else other than Zurich. Now I feel I'm in Zurich. <laughs> That's beautiful. Just walking to the old part of the town now. So this is uh, Lake Zurich. It further up there over that bridge. Over to here, that's the old part. Here's the uh, the lake in Zurich. Yeah, tons of swans. Let's go have a look. Sure, that's the uh, opera. Given the fact that the parking of the opera is just here, the lake is just there. And I just went to dinner. Um, nothing flash. It was at Tibbetts. It's a vegetarian vegan meal. Never been to a vegetarian vegan before. Didn't even know it was a vegetarian vegan. Uh, anyway, that and a beer cost me 29 francs. I'll equate that for you. It's probably about 32 euro, about oh, $40 Australian. 40 bucks Australian for a plate of food and a beer. And we're talking about a buffet, that's it, nothing else. And they charge for the grand, beautiful. Just a bit of twilight uh, footage now. Pretty much it for Zurich. It's uh, very quiet, it's a Sunday night. Gonna okay, have a look at the new part. I have a feeling that this is like the shopping hub of the city. It's got that mall feel. 